Hi everybody, today we're going to talk about conviction versus dogma. First, I'm going to explain the difference between those and then I'm going to share a story about an encounter that I had with Paul Washer and how that affected my life. If something is dogmatic in scripture, that means it's black and white, clear as day, that you're either supposed to do something or you're not supposed to. For example, scripture is clear that you aren't supposed to lie, cheat, or steal. And scripture is clear that you're to love God and to love your neighbor as yourself. Scripture demands that you repent of your sins and believe upon the name of Jesus Christ to be saved. If you read scripture, these things are going to be obvious. Conviction issues are not as obvious in scripture. Scripture gives us principles that we have to decide how to live out. Some examples of conviction issues are what type of clothing you should wear, what type of music to listen to, what type of movies to watch, um, whether you drink alcohol or not, whether you homeschool your children or not. There are so many things that you're going to encounter on a daily basis that are based on convictions. And you and other Christians are not going to agree on these things all of the time. In fact, you're more likely to disagree on these things. And that's normal and that's okay. Not everyone is going to agree because scripture isn't clear about it. So now that we understand the difference between conviction and dogma, I want to tell you a story. Quite a few years ago, when I was in college, I went to Alabama to hear Paul Washer preach and to have the opportunity to meet with him and talk with him in person. I really looked up to him and he has been a huge influence in my life. So the first time I speak with him and we're introduced, he finds out that I'm a college student. And he asked me what I want to do with my life, what I want to go to school for, what I want to study for my career. And <laughs> I told him, I want to make video games. And he replied, oh, I knew someone who did that. And he realized he was in sin, so he stopped doing that. I was like, what? I can't believe this. I was in shock. And <laughs> that was the end of the conversation. I took it as a rebuke from God. Oh, I let him squash my dream. I let him push his conviction on me that making video games was evil. I guess I should have known because he has said on numerous occasions to young men, if you're still playing video games, you're not a man. So I went years questioning my future and what I wanted to study. I wasn't mature enough to see that what he said was just an opinion. Maybe for that guy he knew, maybe for him it was sin because he felt convicted for some reason about something that he was working on. But I didn't understand yet that there was a difference between dogma and conviction. When I talked to a pastor or listened to a sermon, I didn't know the difference between the opinions he was pushing and the Bible he was preaching. If I knew the difference, like I do now, I would have responded very differently to Paul Washer. I could have said, wow, <laughs> wow, I mean, I don't know what kind of video games he was working on that he felt that way, but the games that I'm going to make, I'm going to make them to the glory of God. I'm going to take the talent that God has given me and I'm going to create, I'm going to create for the glory of God and I'm going to make sure that the games that I'm working on are ones that I can be proud of as a Christian. I wish I knew then what I know now because when you understand the Bible and you know it's black and white and you know what sin is and what sin is not and you've read the Bible multiple times and you can easily pinpoint in a sermon what's from God and what's the pastor's opinions, you won't be swayed by someone trying to push their convictions on you because you know the word and you know your own convictions. Someone can't come along and make you feel guilty by pushing their convictions on you. You can listen and you can consider what they're saying and why they believe what they believe, um, but at the end of the day, you decide what you believe based on what you know about the Bible. As you grow and as you learn, your convictions may change, but maybe now Paul Washer wouldn't say to someone what he said to me. Maybe his convictions have changed. I have no hard feelings against Paul Washer. I still listen to him and I still grow because of him. 
the point is I I can differentiate now. Now I know, oh, that's just what he thinks, and, and this is what the Bible actually says. Um, but I, I, I can see what's his opinion now, so it doesn't affect me like it used to. Even when you don't agree on everything and believe in the same way about everything, listening to others is good. Having many counselors is wise, but at the end of the day, you take everything you hear back to the Bible and you compare it. And doing that will either um, strengthen you in what you already believed or lead you to study the Bible in more depth and reconsider your own convictions. So the point that I've really been building up to is this. You have to have your own mind. Your pastor's convictions don't have to be your convictions. Your parents' convictions don't have to be your convictions. Your church's convictions don't have to be yours. You decide at the end of the day when it comes to your own personal life and, and your family. If you're just doing what you're told, then you're not living by your own beliefs and convictions. You're living by somebody else's and you should really be living by what you believe. There's a freedom and an independence that you can have when you understand these things. You won't be blindly led by your leaders or by others. You have to find your own way. You have the spirit if you're a born again Christian and you have the Bible. You have everything that you need. Don't be blindly led by men. Just because you believe they're godly or wise. They're men, they make mistakes, they can be wrong, or they can just be different than you. And that's okay. Not everyone has to be the same, think the same, and believe the same when it comes to matters of personal conviction. So I can go a lot deeper into this topic because being educated in this way is going to bring challenges and you have to decide how to handle those challenges. And it's not going to be easy. So I, I would love to do a second part and continue this discussion. Please comment below if you have any questions, suggestions, uh, or comments. Please like this, share it on social media, and don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already subscribed. I hope that this has been helpful for you. Thank you for watching.